locks the doors down. <laughs> Guess I should have ordered another truckload of those new computers. <laughs> Clover, we need to fuel up before we go power shopping with you. Extra large, double espresso, triple sugar. That's some serious fueling up. Right on time. Okay, you guys chill while I go on a few dates. What? Uh, a few dates? I thought we were going shopping. This will take all day. No, it won't. Trust me. It's called hypersonic dating. Hyper what? Who dating? It makes speed dating look like a long-term commitment. Huh? I'll be done in a sec. Huh? So, what's your sign? I'm sad. Uh-huh, okay. Thanks. Uh, and what kind of music do you like? Um, wow, me too. <laughs> On a date, we'd rather go dancing, rollerblading, or stay in and watch a movie. Take your time. <laughs> Time's up. Shopping. Uh, huh. I hope she doesn't mean hypersonic shopping. <laughs> so, how'd the dates go? Great. Boys number three, nine, and 14 all get second dates. <gasps> I'm gonna date all of them for an entire minute to get to know them better. So, you can have a new boyfriend by lunch and break up with him by dinner time and make up with him before the mall closes. gadget he used on us? It was almost an exact copy of the Wind Tunnel 9000 Tornado Blast hair dryer. I better call Jerry. Okay, either my ex powder isn't working or Jerry's not answering. Ugh, hasn't he heard of call waiting? It's like he's living in the past. We'll just have to go to Whoop and see him in person. <laughs> Disguising Whoop is a roller rink. See? Always living in the past. Still no answer on the X powder. You think he shut down Whoop and went on vacation? Let's find out. Report. This is bigger than just Jerry. Whoop is missing. And I bet that disco van in the purple cloud has something to do with it. Here it is. That freaky van has been involved in two robberies, both at electronics stores. So they're targeting electronics. Good. At least we know where to expect them to hit next. <laughs> Stop. 
Stakeouts are so boring. I know. I'll set up some more hypersonic dates. Ugh. That'll take longer than the dates themselves. What's the deal? My phone is cutting out. Clover's <laughs> turning off! It's starting again! for the mothership to pick you up. Oh, Mandy? What? I'm Phoebe, but I like that name. Maybe I'll name my first daughter Mandy. <laughs> Stop messing with us, Mandy. What happened to Beverly Hills and what is up with your hippie get -up? Don't be such a square man. Fashion is just a lot of superficial jive. Here, I wrote a column about it in the school paper. Peace! It's like we're on another planet. Not another planet, another time! Check out the date on this paper! It's 1975! <gasps> We're in the 70s? That means no cell phones or CDs or personal computers! It's like prehistoric times! And all the guys I'm hypersonic dating, they're not even born yet! Guys, calm down! That van must have jumped through some kind of time portal and we did too! That means we can get back to our own century. But in the meantime, let's not attract any more attention. <laughs> Can you say groovy? That's bad. Styles may come and go, but I look fabulous in just about anything. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the X powder works on the car. Hey, it does work. Cherry makes the best gadgets. <laughs> Tracker says the van is this way. Take a left into this parking lot. It looks like the time machine is at a loading dock in the back, so we'll go in the front. What's this? Too big to be a cell phone? That's an eight-track cassette. It's like a primitive CD. This is a phone. Are you okay? Get me out of this weird chair! All these 70s gadgets are just like gadgets, whoop gadgets. Yeah, they're just slightly ahead of their time. <laughs> Jab turkey 
monkeys on the flip side give you any trouble? Look, mellow out, man. Everything's out of sight, all right? Got enough groovy parts for hundreds of far-out gadgets, and the new time-space fog emitter works even better than a prototype. Right on. Slime me some skin, man. Right on. <gasps> what are they talking about? There's something creepy about that driver. I don't know what it is, but he's... with a really huh? bad 70s look. Hey, who are these foxy ladies and how'd they know my name, eh? Dig it, they're evil spies from the future. But don't worry. Mm. Our disco chicks got all the kung fu moves. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, we're trained in kung fu. <laughs> to change the mood with my mood ring. No way, Jerry! You're not using a gadget on us! <gasps> what are you gonna do now, Jerry? Stop us with lame 70s music? <gasps> Jerry, what's going on? Don't you know us? Yeah, we're like your best and cutest Whoop agents. Actually, since we're in the past, you should be starting Whoop right about now. Look, if you know about the World Organization of Human Protection, then you must be from the future, since BG and I haven't started Whoop yet, man. BG? Boogie Gus, the boss man of Whoop and genius inventor of time travel. Yeah, what's with that? Why are you stealing technology from the future? To get a jump on you evildoers, of course. That was BG's idea, too. I'll take it from here, man. Get the van ready so we can book it out of this time zone. Hey! Mm. Listen, Booger Gus, you may have Jerkon, but we know he's the one that started Whoop. Yeah, and frankly, you don't look smart enough to invent a time machine. <laughs> Whoop, the World Organization of Harmon People, is my own far out and solid idea. But you're right, Jerry did invent the time machine, and I was smart enough to steal it. <gasps> I'm from the future, like you, and I worked at Whoop 2. As part of the custodial staff, I snagged the time machine when no one was looking and brought it back to the 70s. Why'd you pick such a lame decade to travel to? To get to Jerry before he started the real Whoop. <gasps> Foxy and intelligence, right on. Besides, the 70s rule because that's when disco started. I was the greatest disco dancer ever. Check it! Hmm, a little geeky, but not bad. So you're bringing disco back to the future? That is beyond evil and beyond tacky. <laughs> and I'll be the only one with Jerry's gadget. What's so terrible about a thick, cushy rug? Other than that yucky color, I mean... That is the deepest pile shag rug in the world. Once you're in deep enough, you won't be able to breathe. <gasps> well, got a boogie. Maintain, ladies. See ya. What do wanna be? Ew! We're going to be killed by an ugly carpet? Would you feel better if we were killed by one of Jerry's own gadgets? Jerry's gadgets! Wait, I picked up his mood ring during the fight! must have taken their time machine to the present. No, wait! This looks like the thingy that came out of the van. <gasps> it must be the prototype time machine that Jerry was talking about. <laughs> Let's hope it's set for the right time and not the Stone Age. Ugh, this might as well be the Stone Age. Ready? Jerry, just trying to get your attention. 
you won't get away with this. My whoop agents will stop you. <laughs> to normal, but where's Jerry? Also back to normal. Oh, the old Jerry back! <clears throat> yeah, the old Jerry, yes. Shame I couldn't keep my hair. <laughs> the afro was not a good look for you, Jer. Okay, just so we're clear, we're in our own time now, and everything's like it was? Everything is as it should be. The time travel project has been discontinued. Or rather, it was never started. It's all rather complicated. As I said, everything is as it should be. Though I did keep the mini nuke mood ring. Rather a charming little gadget, don't you think? Uh. <laughs> Hurry, dear. I want to get some organic hemp underwear before they're sold out. Mom! Would you start living in the 21st century already? Nice to see everything's back to normal at the mall. Even Clover. Hey, Clover, don't you have to be on, like, 50 dates in the next half hour? Yeah, what happened to hypersonic dating? Oh, please, that is so five minutes ago. Ultra slow dating is the way to go now. I'm spending all week with Eric. <laughs> wow, when does it start? It's already started. Eric is just two hours late. Two hours? And you're not mad? Oh, please, of course not. There's no need to rush our relationship. Now, I don't want to be rude, but you know, I'm on a date. Okay, well, we'll just go ultra slow shopping then. I feel so out of touch. If I were to go out with a boy, how would I even know what kind of date we're on? I guess we're just a couple old fashioned girls, Alex. <laughs> I can tell sometimes the other girls think I might not have what it takes to be a spy because I'm all about fashion and dating. 
but there's more to me than good looks, great clothes, and totally perfect hair. Oh sure, Alex with her high yeah's all over the place, and Sam with her computer mega brain that knows just about everything. But I'm tough. I'm, I'm all sorts of tough. I just kicked three bad guys' butts, and I didn't complain once, even though I broke two nails. Two. Want to see my muscle?